Hello everyone, my name is Jessica and this is my presentation on would additional artificial nutrition and hydration education be effective in changing home health care nurses scores on the knowledge test. To begin with, artificial nutrition and hydration is a medical procedure used to provide nutrition and hydration via feeding tubes or other means. This treatment is typically used in terminally ill patients or other individuals who can no longer receive nutrition or hydration orally. Deciding to initiate or withhold a and can cause much distress to all involved. As nurses spend more time with the patients, they begin to build relationships and trust with them and their families. The patients are in turn looking to the nurses for guidance and knowledge of A&H and whether it will be a beneficial treatment for them. However, nurses do not feel as though they are, have adequate knowledge to assist the patients in making a decision. Using the knowledge test, a validated instrument, this research study will investigate if additional A&H education will be effective in changing home health care nurse scores on the knowledge test. This test will allow home health care nurses' knowledge to be measured concerning a and H. It will be determined if home health care nurses with more education are better equipped to assist in decision making for a and H. Additional a and H education should increase home health care nurses' knowledge test scores. In the last five years, studies have found that many nurses have misconceptions about a and H and whether the treatment will be beneficial to the patient. The lack of knowledge makes it hard for nurses to inform their patients with the benefits and risk involved. Continued education is needed to assist nurses in making evidence-based decisions when it comes to initiating or withdrawing a &H. A recent study showed that nurses with degrees of a BSN or higher resulted in higher scores on the knowledge test. Higher education can increase personal empowerment and lead to higher confidence in making decisions. Lastly, the nurse's perception can influence the patient and family's decision, which can lead to emotional distress if the outcome is not what they hoped for. For the next slide, the informed consent consists of participants must be over 21 years of age. There is little to no risk involved in the research study. The survey will take about 15 minutes via email to complete, and the participants can stop at any time if they do not feel comfortable answering the questions. Their files will be password protected and only given to the researchers to analyze the results. Two weeks will be allotted for the home health care nurses to submit the survey, and to increase participation, $25 Visa gift cards will be raffled out for those who submit the survey within the deadline. This next slide is on ethical considerations for the research proposal. This includes respect for autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence, and justice must be practiced upon decision making. Does the benefit of the treatment outweigh the risk involved? Religious beliefs need to be taken into consideration. The emotional well-being of all involved need to be considered as well, including the patient, family member, and healthcare providers. And also, have the family members and the patient, are they having issues coming to terms with death? We will also seek approval from hospitals affiliated with chosen home health care nursing staff and agencies across the country since the study involves human subjects. For this next slide, the methodology consists of a quantitative research approach with a cross-sectional survey with fixed responses. There is a randomly sampled population from home health care nursing staff and agencies across the United States. For the data collection and analysis, the sample population will consist of home health care nurses that are divided into two groups after taking the knowledge test. The groups are based on their degree level and the outcome will be measured using a scoring system and then the results will be compared with a t-test to see if there's a significant difference in the mean. The next slide discusses the strengths and limitations of the research proposal. By using home health care nurses across the country, this will provide a better understanding of the knowledge deficits regarding artificial nutrition, hydration, and end-of-care life. 
across the country rather than one state or one demographic area. By using a larger sample size, this will hopefully lead to a higher response rate in the surveys being returned. And even though the surveys are online and are confidential, participants may not feel comfortable answering questions regarding their education status or might not understand the questions being asked. And finally, the anticipated results for the study indicate that nurses with higher education or those who received additional education in a and are better equipped to make decisions when it comes to initiating or withdrawing a and treatment. Also, the knowledge test results would provide evidence that higher test scores are associated with nurses who have more education. And lastly, the findings from this study would show that there is a need to offer additional education to home health care nurses in order for them to feel better prepared in providing suitable end-of-life care, especially when it regards a and treatment. And on this slide are the references used for the PowerPoint. Thank you and have a great night.